and hold. Really strong, that's petty grain. Oh, I like that. That's very gentle. So, interestingly, we've got a bit medicinal, we've got a bit churchy, and we've yeah. got some paint. <laughs> so, just spreading the oil at the moment. Underneath that flat plate of bone, quite happily, into the blood circulation, and then spread all over inside the body. hopefully a nice back neck shoulder scalp massage aromatherapy style mm -hmm. so being aromatherapy we are going to have a little play with some essential oils mm. that i think we did before last time mm -hmm. you came and were filmed with a yeah. treatment which was for a facial mm -hmm. and i think you had the gua sha and did you yeah. have cupping and, the, and the, yeah the facial cupping you the went for it for. yeah yeah awesome yeah uh how has your face been your skin your complexion it's been so much better it's not great at the moment because you know i was thinking how good you looked actually it's quite glowy and oh. clear oh yeah and quite feels a lot more uh, puffed up like i don't I, I sort of note started noticing like little wrinkles but i think they're clear you bit. mean plumped up plumped up that's yes. what i meant yes yes, yes. Exactly. yes. rather than puffed ma makes yeah, you no, think not it's puffy. like swollen plumped. exactly okay plumped. oh yeah. Lovely, yeah. good. Mm. And you've got a really nice skin tone as well. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't wear makeup, do you? Or I you... do. At work, I do. Have you got makeup but, on now? Uh, only a little bit. Okay. Only a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it doesn't show. Otherwise, not on the main face. Yeah. Just a bit under my eyes. But that's oh, it. beautiful. Yeah. Well, I've been using the cupping because I got the cups last time, didn't I? The of course you cups. did. You're yeah. doing it. I've been doing it weekly and I love it. It's oh. so relaxing. Yeah. And I do feel like it's doing something like lifting everything and mm. yeah depuffing mm. mm. yeah yeah absolutely yeah. oh good mm -hmm. yeah it will plump up the skin mm -hmm. um it will help reduce or even prevent lines yes um and it also brings circulation to yeah. the skin so therefore it's helps complexion mm. yeah so nice. and blemishes and things yeah. so essential oils mm -hmm. so it's evening here yeah. it's a winter's evening mm -hmm. Um, I just need to ask, how are you? What have you got planned for after this? Oh, I'm very well. <laughs> um, but I've got nothing planned, just dinner, and that's it. Nice. And bed. Yeah, yeah lovely. Yeah. And um, obviously you're having back, neck and shoulders. Yes. So when I treat a back, neck and shoulders, mm -hmm. maybe this doesn't first come through to you when you book one but to me I'm thinking right I'm not just treating the back the neck and the shoulders and the scalp I'm also treating all the organs and the whole body inside that back do with a bit of that yeah <laughs> resetting so, after uh, Christmas and everything yeah well you know liver yeah, kidneys exactly. lungs mm -hmm. the colon mm -hmm. the heart mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it, it, it's a treatment for the whole body yes. when when you have a back neck and shoulders because I'm treating the spine mm -hmm. and the the spine is like number one go to yeah yeah so anything I need to know about are you okay have you got any aches and pains or? no I've had I mean they're not it's not it's not like painful but I do notice sometimes I get a bit sensitive in areas like here like the sides I just kind of get poked and I'm like oh like a twinge but not just not anything. turn around and show me where you mean here at the, it's the, mostly the sides i get a bit twingy okay but it doesn't so, hurt otherwise like if you poke so it just i'd be a bit kind of Ooh. to the camera yeah so you were touching here yeah but for me i just want to check it's not this is it here it's tiny on that side yeah it doesn't hurt it's just a sensitivity yeah because that's your kidneys yeah yeah Okay, and kidneys is all about hydration and movement mm -hmm. and warmth. They love mm -hmm. those three mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Um, so sides, it's more obliques, mm -hmm. you know, as in muscle wise, yeah. we're talking the obliques. These can be sensitive, you know, yeah. that's why it's a ticklish area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably it, that, it, to be Because honest. they can be sensitive. Yes. Um, or if it's inside the body, then you're talking like colon or spleen, maybe. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're you're okay oh, with digestive. Yeah, no, yeah, th yeah that's okay. all good. Okay, yeah. all right. Ah, so when I'm treating you, I might find that you're a little bit sensitive. There. Might Is do. that what you're saying? I might sort of. Ooh. Oh, not bad. It won't okay. hurt, and I won't scream. <laughs> it just be kind of. I might just. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But we're fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No pressure. No pressure. Right. Let's put the glasses on. Have a mm. look at some essential oils. So we're thinking relaxing then because mm -hmm. it's evening. So you don't want anything too stimulating. So I won't be giving yeah. you rosemary or basil today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking maybe chamomile, mm -hmm. uh, ylang ylang. Lavender. So we're going to test all of these, rose geranium, sweet orange, petty grain. Are you having okay? No, no trouble sleeping? Or? No trouble sleeping, sometimes trouble getting to sleep. Right, okay. But I don't sort of wake up in the middle of the night too mm -hmm. much. Valerian. Mm -hmm. um. Hmm. Oh, leaf maybe and then oh frankincense definitely mm -hmm. uh bergamot Re refreshing ah oh, cedarwood all right am i getting too many now <laughs> <laughs> a period's okay yeah yeah, yeah okay right maybe not clary then mm -hmm. um oh i've got i'm gonna put some sweet almond in as well oh. yeah i think I think we'll leave it with that many. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to test a few. Mm -hmm. So can you give me a little finger and thumb? Just come a little bit nearer to me and hold. Oh, really strong. In the other hand, just hold that to you and give me another little finger and thumb and hold. Really strong. That's petty grain. So we're just going to rattle through these and hold. No. Nope. Okay, so that opened, that was rose geranium, nice big lavender, and hold. Yeah, that was not bad. And hold. Oh, really strong Roman chamomile. And hold. Oh, no, they're so obvious with you, aren't they? <laughs> you see that? Isn't it? You're yeah. like, what is going on? What yeah, is going yeah, yeah. on? And hold. No opening. And hold. Oh. Just retracting all of them now. Mm. And hold. No, that's better. I am pulling quite strongly, aren't I? Well, maybe we're getting a bit tired. <laughs> oh, well, if maybe. so, we can use the other hand. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So, can I just try this yeah. first of all and hold? Yeah, nice and strong. So, in the other hand, we're going to put in this one to your body and hold. Yep. Okay. Next one. And hold. Lovely. Bergamot. And hold. Really strong. And hold. Yeah, maybe that hand was getting tired. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some extra sweet almond in with the organic sunflower carrier oil. And the yes is, we've got five. Frankincense, bergamot, cedarwood, Roman chamomile, petty grain. Wow, okay. what a mix. Okay, so frankincense. Oh, it smells like a church. Mmm, I like that. Mm. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it's it? It's lovely. Yeah, it does smell Very like a church. Warming, churchy, mm. yeah. Mmm. What's that one? Petty grain. It's very gr uh, grassy. Yes, it's it quite is. It's summery. Yeah. It is lovely. I not. I prefer the other one. Yeah. But I do like that. Okay. Oh, that's quite. What is that? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. It smells a bit like paint. <laughs> 
that paint? <laughs> yeah. um, I like paint, the smell of fresh paint. Do you okay. Know what I mean? It smells like brandy like, to me. Like, or yeah, an alcoholic <laughs> sort of, I don't know. Yeah. It's nice though. Yeah, well that was Roman chamomile. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's very gentle. Slightly minty. Is that geranium or something? It's bergamot. Oh, is it bergamot? Yeah, fruit. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's lovely, Quite isn't it? Fragrance. And it's very uplifting. Yeah. Last one. Oh. Hmm. That's an that's an odd one to me. Is I know the smell. It's almost medicinal, of some kind. What is okay, it? so it's cedarwood. Mm. Tree. Yeah. Like a, like the sap or something. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So interestingly, we've got a bit medicinal, we've got a bit churchy, and we've yeah. got some paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great, great combination. <laughs> okay. Are you happy with all of yeah, those? Yeah, I am. Yes. Okay. I like right. all those. Yeah. Right, we're going to get you on the couch now. Perfect. Just introducing the oil. So we have cedarwood, frankincense, Roman chamomile, petty grain, and one other, if you remember. Uh, yeah, cam Roman chamomile, bergamot, of course. Oh, we've got a really nice mix there. So just spreading the oil at the moment, making sure the whole back, neck and shoulders are covered. And the action of the sweet almond together with the sunflower carrier oil will really bring moisture, nurturing, to the skin, helping any dryness, itchiness. Okay, Caroline, three nice long breaths. And then massaging the oils up into the neck, right up to the occiput, relieving any tension and strain to the neck and down the shoulders. And continuing with a nice figure of eight, whole hand doubled up so that the palm is pushing the fingers feeling for any tension knots and strain and I always like encompassing the whole area so I'm not simply working on the back of the back, I'm coming over the top of the trapezius, round the shoulder points, hooking under the scapula, crossing and up again, encompassing the whole area so no area feels left out or in need of some care and attention. And then thumbs up the spine, separating 
in circles, pressure upwards, down to the lower ribs, and back up again in one long movement. And again, thumb separating. Mm, the back feels good. It feels quite strong and toned. I can also feel some tension there, so the massage will aim to soften the muscles, encourage them to release, lengthen and relax. And then on to that top line of the trapezius. Using one thumb strengthened with the other fingers of the other hand coming over and pushing, like bending that trapezius forwards. So I'm actually picking it up with the fingers underneath and then rolling it back with the thumb. Working my way forwards and backwards and it's what I call a listening massage because I'm always looking for areas that are asking for more help. Mm, that feels good. Softening with that technique, that really helps. And then with any lymph and waste that has been agitated, I like to smooth it away up and over to the front, the cervical lymph. And the same on the other side. So again, feeling for what the back and shoulder is telling me. using the fingers with that thumb to pick up, roll and push forwards. That's good. And coming back to the lower back for a whole effleurage. Over, round, sides and lower back. And now onto those lovely angel wings, the scapula. At the moment just tracing a line, hooking under up, over and side. This area, just like those obliques, can feel tickly sometimes. And the reason for that is because it's a flat plate of bone, toxins and waste can sit underneath that flat plate of bone quite happily for a very long time, even years. And unless agitated, for instance, with movement, exercise, or massage, then they will go solid, less flexible and mobile, and become stiff and then become painful. And what we're doing here, creating this lovely rosiness and warmth, is clearing the way for the scapula, the shoulder blades, to move, to move freely, to feel 
spacious and light. And then working on the top of the scapula. So, knuckling while holding the bottom tip of that angel wing, knuckling with flat upper fingers, always looking for any issues, and just agitating at first in nice circular fashion. and then moving them out with flat, strong fingers outwards towards the armpit and the lymph node. Same the other side, just supporting and knuckling. And then flat hands coming out. How does this feel, Caroline? Mm, okay. Oh, good. Mm. It was quite, it, yeah, it was quite painful in a way, actually, because of what we'll see is all these toxins, so mm -hmm. it's nice to get rid of it. Yeah. Is it too much? No, 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 no. Just when you were getting in on it, it felt like a good... A good pain, like, oh mm. yeah, this, you just, this, is, this is what I need. <laughs> mm, good, well described. Mm. Okay, and then just wanting to lengthen this shoulder, so from the neck, hooking under the shoulder point, the front bone, and lengthening. Coming up, now it's nice and warm and uh, softened from the massage, lengthening it down. I'm just going to take this arm and hand and soften it a little, pulling it out. And then, oh, lovely. See how the scapula raises, uh, rises up, and then we can just circle it a little to make sure that underneath is separate and not solid. That's good, you'll feel a lot looser there. And same the other side. Just coming around to unhook that arm, loosen it and pull. Support underneath and that scapula raises and then we can turn it while I'm holding the scapula out from the back. And lengthening again from the neck lengthen down the trapezius to the deltoid and pull. Biceps and triceps are benefiting. Mm, lovely, so the upper back is now massaged, warm, softer. Just that middle area probably needs a little bit more. Each side of the upper thoracics so the thoracic 
bones come from T1, the bulkier one at the very base of the neck, top of the back, to about here, the lower ribs. Yeah, a little bit sensitive there, about T12 there. So the thoracics take up most of the back. 12 very strong bones. And it's these upper ones that we find take the most pressure because of uh, our heads leaning forward, whether it's for computer work, phone work, or whether it's leaning forward for manual work, cleaning the house, gardening, whatever it is, we find that our heads are often forward of our backs rather than sitting straight on top. And that means that these upper thoracics have a big job on their hands to hold that head forward and away from the body. But that's looking much better now. It's nice and rosy up there. Okay, I'm just having a little feel. There's little patches of dry skin occasionally on the back. One here, one here. So I recommend you using maybe an exfoliator and a moisturiser. The Body Smooth Exfoliator is amazing. I think I've talked to you about it before, Caroline. Mm. Uh, it comes in a kilner jar, uh, so it's a nice big quantity. And you scoop it up and I use it once a week in the shower. And oh, it just feels amazing. It's so lemony and zingy. Makes your skin feel all reset and uplifted and fresh. Can you put it on a brush? No, you, I use it with my hand. Oh, so you just... Scoop it out, yeah. It comes with a little scoop, actually. And, and then use it with your hand. And then your hands benefit as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I'm just working on the kidneys now. This is the area we talked about at the start, but it's more your sides that were sensitive, wasn't it? Is this area feeling okay? Yeah, it is actually at the moment. Mm. It's probably that, that little bit in the middle there, sort of where you pressed before and it was a bit sensitive. Mm. Okay, giving the kidneys a good, a good hug. They do like a hug. And then on to this area. Is it about here? Mm. Yeah. Does that feel okay? Yeah. This side's a bit... Oh, that side's a bit more. So is it sensitive on the yeah. bone yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. Not here? No. It was yeah. yeah, it's on the bone. Yeah. And what about this side? Not so much. And not there? So interesting so it's just those lower ribs you know sometimes the ribs can feel sensitive because the muscles in between the ribs are called the intercostals and maybe if you've had a, um, a coughing virus or a bug or something mm -hmm. then we tend it tends to grip the mm -hmm. intercostals mm -hmm. and it takes them quite a while to recover mm -hmm. from that pinching bruising sensation mm -hmm. um, and they can be sensitive after that so it could be that when I, mean, I had a cold the other week I sort of coughed a bit but coughed a bit not too much, not too much. no yeah really strained coughing sort of yeah Mm. I mean, the way you're reacting to it does sound like a muscle spasm. Mm -hmm. um, is it easing as I'm doing this? Yeah, it's not so sensitive now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the essential oils I'm using, mm. um, combined with the massage, should help it. Mm. Yeah, it's feeling better to me as well. So yeah, we were discussing earlier, Caroline and I, how aromatherapy... Um, is a little bit of a misnomer, really, because it is an aroma, as in a scent therapy, and we do benefit from essential oils by inhaling them and then the natural chemicals in those beautiful plants go up through the nose to the olfactory bulb, just in the head above the nose, and then send messages 
two different glands depending on what those chemicals are. So they could be uplifting, sedating, etc. But the main way that we use essential oils in aromatherapy is massage. So by including essential oils in a beautiful carrier oil, how we've done today, and then massaging and spreading, applying them, or maybe compresses all over the body, those essential oils will go through the skin into the blood circulation and then spread all over inside the body. And essential oils are intelligent. They know what they need to help. So they'll all go to their different places to go and help their different issues. Be it anti-inflammatory, analgesic, uh, diuretic. What's analgesic? Analgesic means pain relief. Oh, okay. Diuretic is fluid, uh, encouraging fluid loss. Mm -hmm. So therefore, with swelling and cellulitis, uh, uh, they could help insomnia, they could help with periods of hormonal and endocrine balancing, they could help the skin, complexion. So they're just beautiful, intelligent little friends that go off and busily do their work. <laughs> Okay, so now coming down onto the sacrum. So again, this is the third flat plate of bone in the back, right at the lower spine. And it is five vertebra fused together in a beautiful triangular-ish shape. And from here, the iliac bones of the hips are connected and from there the rest of the spine travels up the body up to and including the neck. So the sacrum is a really important set of bones and it's, it's no confusion as to why sacrum has its name because it is a sacred bone. It's actually our pivot point. So if we were to have to pivot on a point, it would be our sacrum number two, the second of the sacral bones. And just coming round those iliac crests at the top of the hips, working quite firmly and slowly, as is the way of a true aromatherapy massage. And now single thumbs, flat, slow, firm, therapeutic circles, symmetrically massaging each side of the sacrum. And then a really key place that I find in core therapy that needs treating is the edge of the sacrum coming out and along. This can feel quite sore. It can feel quite sensitive if there is an issue there, which is quite often the case. If people aren't having core therapy or a similar therapy that treats that sacroiliac area, 
is what we call the separation. Mm, it's just making a little popping there. So I'm going to carry on for a little while, treating on and on those edges. And that's good. The area is going nice and rosy now. Mm, doing well. Uh, just seeing if that click is. is Oh, it's still there a little bit, so I'm just going to clear any toxins, just like with the scapula, that tend to sit on top of that flat plate of bone of the sacrum. Encouraging them upwards. And it's interesting, the sacrum can actually take quite a lot of pressure. a lot of strength. Flat hand over the spine. Feeling each vertebra under my palm. And up. It's interesting, it's just such a lovely feeling, sensing the upward movement, like an encouragement upwards, very therapeutic and in a caring manner, upwards. And now coming round to those obliques again, pushing the toxins down to the waist, down to the couch. Now we're going to do a little intercostal muscle release by working along the same lines as the ribs with a scissoring technique. Scissoring between flat fingers, encouraging and agitating to remove waste materials, old cells, etc. And then smoothing them out. I can feel some tension here. Well, I'll come back to that. And clearing.
and then massaging semi strongly at first but actually just a medium pressure overlapping waves moving outwards all about the lymph it's all about our beautiful defense system that protects us every minute of every day. And then going softer and slower. Hooking under the neck, into the occiput. Two thumbs, massaging under that bone, relieving any tension and tightness. Nice hot towel from the radiator. Continuing the therapeutic effect. And then starting the shoulder massage while lying supine on the deltoids. Coming up over the trapezius.
massaging all the way to the spine. And then just before reaching the spine, coming away in a circle, up the neck and down the shoulder tops. Tracing the line of the clavicle, the collarbone, clearing it. And this can be sensitive here if the area is a little congested. And clearing it away. This area some key acupressure points so even more importantly needs to be kept clear of congestion and turning one way to massage strongly down, pushing the shoulder point down and then up the neck down the side, being careful not to apply pressure to the front of the throat and then picking up that top trapezius squeezing it gently massaging in petrissage technique Clearing any knots and tightness.
Keeping your eyes closed, take a nice long breath. Continuing with the long breaths and gently sending the breath down to fingers and toes. Feeling the breath arrive and then gently stretching and moving into every digit. And then turning at the ankles and the wrists. Breathing deeply and maybe rotating at the shoulders. And if you feel like it, bringing your arms up over your head. For a whole body stretch. Okay. Mm, I am. <laughs> mm.